Welcome back to Anything Outdoors with Steve, Preparedness Edition. Today, we're gonna freeze dry some milk. This is standard Costco 2% milk. Everybody says it'll last 25 to 30 years freeze dried. We're gonna give it a shot and see how we do. Uh, this is the medium freeze dryer. I don't know how much the trays will hold, but I'm gonna try to jam the whole gallon in here. All right, I went ahead and started this up. I'm not pre-freezing it first. I'm just gonna go for it and then start the cycle when it's done with its 15 minute pre-freeze cycle. If anybody's ever poured Costco milk from these square containers, you can already anticipate there's probably gonna be a mess. Let's see how well we do. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can in here without spilling. Are not too bad. Okay, looks like we're fairly level. I didn't even bother putting the level on first. Risk it for tray one. Gotta pour slow so you don't spill over the edges and fill up the chamber with milk. Looks to me like I'm getting about a quart per tray, which is surprising. I was told the large freeze dryer, the trays are a little bit larger and wider, longer and wider, will fit a full quart per tray. We are really close to that right now. So I do have to fill them up a little more each. Gotta be really careful with that slosh. And go to slider back in. Just gonna ease it in. There we go. Let's see, this one's lower. It's going to be really close. That one's really full. <laughs> going to have to be really careful. So I'm going to touch more on each one. In between the Second tray and top tray, I should be able to get rid of the rest of the gallon. I'll let you know if this is a catastrophic failure. Sometimes things start foaming up if they vacuum too soon. Eggs will do that. They always say pre-freeze the eggs. So far, I have not pre-frozen anything before putting it in. I just put it in as is unless it's already frozen. Like there's some frozen berries that I was running on some early batches and that's it. That's the whole gallon. Uh, eggs will foam up a little bit, but this machine is actually really good at freezing completely before going into vacuum mode. So we'll let that cycle through and I'll get her started up and running through its cycles and I'll see you at the end. We are 24 hours in. It's almost done, but I am right before bedtime. So it says 23 hours and 15 minutes. I don't want to stay up as late as I did yesterday. Kind of went to bed later than I was expecting. This has an extra two hours of dry time and I will kick it back on in the morning just to keep her running. I like to keep her running just to make sure there's no leftover moisture in any of this. So that way it is completely dry so I might as well have it keep freeze drying while I'm at work. If I wake up early enough I might be able to dump the trays out real fast and get it all processed. I am home from work. I had to add an extra 12 hours to this just so I had plenty of time. After the cycle is complete, it goes into a freeze mode. 
all the moisture is out so then it keeps everything cold and so it goes down to about negative 20 negative 30 degrees and sits there until you come back to it the problem with that is you pull out these trays they're that cold all the moisture wants to go to them so i like to keep them on a dry mode so that way all the trays are nice and hot i still have a vacuum in here so i have to relieve that once the vacuum is relieved the door will pop right open there we go you can see all the frost on there this is exactly what would happen if i pulled these trays out and they were that cold frost would form on them right away but this is what the milk looks like nice and dry and we'll start to process this into bags i'm going to save some of it out rehydrate it and do a taste test with the kids see if they can notice a difference all right we're going to start bagging up all this oh yeah nice and fluffy just made flakes it's almost like dealing with snow When I'm doing my eggs, this is how I do it too. I just cut little squares and then I can spatula the whole square into the bag. And you can see in the bag there, and as soon as you crush it all up, it settles way down. So this gallon of milk will easily fit in this bag when I'm all done, just because of how light and fluffy this stuff is. All the rest of this powder, I try to just scoop right up and get her in there too. All right, so I'm gonna do this to the rest of the trays. All right, this is our rehydration. I've got 200 milliliters of freeze-dried milk, and I'm gonna add 200 milliliters of water. I'm gonna go just a little shy, just to be sure. And then I'll put it in the refrigerator and dole it out to the kids in about five minutes. A little more water. We have our taste test. This took 30 minutes for it to rehydrate and it still could use a little bit longer but when you're rehydrating cold that's probably what you're going to be dealing with so in each glass i've got a little bit of uh, the freeze-dried milk and milk from the jug so we're going to be doing a taste test to see if each person can identify which each one is that tastes like regular milk This one's a lot more tasteless. Hmm. I think this is freeze dry. Next. Hmm. Is it regular milk? I think it might be this one that's a loosey powder thing. Okay.
think it's this one. That's the free stride? Mm -hmm. Okay. And next. <laughs> You're right. So Brandon and Tyler were wrong. Haley and Jess were correct. How did it taste? Bad. Bad? Yeah, I didn't like it. So we've got one bad. <laughs> the, so that green cup is bad? Mm-hmm. It doesn't taste like, it just tastes like sitting milk. Like milk that has been sitting in your cereal bowl. Hmm. Kind of. Yeah. I think uh, because the realer milk the realer. was colder, it had less of a taste. And since the other freeze dried milk was warmer. Yeah, so it probably seemed, it could use a little more time to, yeah, to it seemed chill. It like it had more flavor because of that. Okay. All right, well, not too bad. So that is one downside is I didn't have enough time to chill this properly and I probably should have used a little more time to chill it. Well, the taste test is complete. <laughs> Actually, I want to taste test it. I'm usually not a huge milk drinker, but we'll give it a shot. Yeah, it's actually not bad. It is warmer than what it should be. But, yeah, it's not bad. Thanks for joining us.